you how to prepare an image to make it a cutting file using the Make the Cut software. And I would like to show you several different methods of doing this depending on uh, what your end goal is for your cutting file. We're going to use an image from Creative Fabrica. This particular image, someone wanted to know how to separate it because when she got it from Creative Fabrica, it was all one piece and she couldn't get it separated in order to cut individual pieces. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So first we're going to open Make the Cut and go to a new page. And the feature that we use in this software is called Pixel Trace. It's this, um, you can use Control Shift plus T to open it, or you can click on this icon with the curved boxes at the top of the screen. So I'm going to click on that. And the first thing we do is go to where we have the image, and this is the image that I wanted to bring in. So I click on it and click open. And what happens is it gives a default window here showing you what will be traced if you use the automatic functions. What I'd like to show you uh, first is some of the settings. I'm going to move this despect button over a little bit so that I don't bring in a lot of tiny detail. And then I'm going to texturize path and I'm going to bring in and, and black it out. I'm going to bring in a reference picture. So I want to take the threshold up to about 200, maybe 30, because I want to bring in everything. It's going to be a picture to look at and apply changes. So you see there's uh, lines around the whole outside of the image. This would also be good for a print and cut design. So then I import it and um, finish my tracing. And you'll see that I have an image here with cutting lines around it, but I still can't separate out all the inside pieces. But this would be good to print and cut around the edges. If I go to the virtual mat and I show you outlines, you can see that the cutting lines are just on the outside. But what I want to do now is trace that same image, but bring in all the different color layers. So again, I'll go to Pixel Trace and I'll select the picture and open. But this time, I want to use color scans just to show you how that works. And this I would use if I wanted to create several different color layers. I have five colors here, one for the earmuffs, one for all the black pieces, one for the orange, one for the, black, um, the, the scarf, the blue pieces, and then five is the white. So I'm going to take my count down to five. And I'm also going to move over the D-spec so I don't get any tiny little dots and excess things. And then I'm going to apply the changes. And now you see everything here that is going to be brought in. And this is the color image. And then I'm going to import. And I will, I'm going to continue tracing and show you another result that I can get. If I go to pixel trays, I can do each color one at a time. So I'm going to go on um, color and I click on the color box and I use the eyedropper on just the color that I want to use this time. And I'm going to take the tolerance down to one because those two blue lines look pretty much the same unless I reduce the tolerance so the software knows exactly which one of the blue colors I want to use. So now you see that it is selected just the earmuffs. I'm going to import the earmuffs, continue tracing. Then I'm going to do the scarf, apply changes. You see it's selected just the scarf. 
import that. Then I'm going to continue tracing and do the orange colors. Apply the change. You see just the orange pieces. Import that. Continue tracing. I'm going to do the black pieces. Apply changes. Just the black pieces are showing and import that. Continue tracing. And then I want to also do the white pieces. Apply the change. See all the white pieces are selected and import and finish tracing. Well, I wonder where my design went. Oh, it went on top of this one. So there's my blue. That was the original blue. I'll leave that there. There's the earmuffs. We have the white pieces over here. And we have the black pieces. And so we have blue. Oh, we don't have the orange. So the, these pieces are all now separated. And we have the white here, which includes the outside lines. And I don't want the outside white pieces. So what I'm going to do is go down to split. Control plus P or just click on those two arrows going the opposite direction. Now I'm going to select the pieces I don't want and hit the delete key because I don't want the outside pieces. So now I have all the white. I'll, I'll join those together again by clicking the join tool which is the two arrows pointing together. So now I have the blue scarf pieces. I have the earmuffs of the black pieces and I have the gold pieces. So all the pieces are separated and I have a version of the cutting files that have all the pieces separated. Now I can send these up to the top of my um, layers palette and right click on that and select to each its own and now each of these colors is on its own layer on the color palette on the layers panel and I can select just the layer that I want to cut. I can hide the other layers. So only the layers that are showing will need to be cut. So I can hide everything except what I want to cut. And when I'm done with that, I can cut here and so forth. So I get the best result by doing each layer separately, but I want to show you how this will look if I did the color layers, which is for another purpose. This would be great for layering vinyl pieces. Now I have this here gives me all of the white that I can use as a base. It gives me all the black, the blue, light blue, dark blue, and the orange. And I got this all in that same single pass. Now this one, if I break it apart using break, I can still select the inside pieces, the white pieces that I want. And then I can get rid of this extra piece. So we got the pretty much the same results. So we can do it individual pieces or we can do it with uh, the, the scans, the, the layer scans, or we can do it for print and cut. So color scans pretty much did the same thing with this image as individual layers. And I wanted to show you how that works both ways. But sometimes you'll get a better result one way or another. And you don't need to worry about where all this is placed. But now you have separate pieces that you can cut out of heat transfer vinyl in order to 
put the design on a shirt. You would put one layer on at a time, heat it up for about five seconds until you get all the layers on the shirt and then press it for the total amount of time recommended by the manufacturer of the heat transfer vinyl that you purchased. So this quick and easy and make the cut to do this. If you would decide which of these images that you want to use, you can select it. If I wanted to um, cut it from other software to another cutter, I would go to I would select first what I want to export, then go to export, selection to SVG, and choose uh, save with the name, and I will save that design as an SVG file. Now if I would like to cut to my Cricut expression, I can select this, then I can go to make the cut 410, and I forgot to copy it, so let's go back to 462, that's the latest software, and I'm going to go to control C or just to copy. Now when I go to version 4.1.0, I can use paste in place, and it will paste the image I just copied in exactly the same place of this software and I can cut my project with my ProboCraft Cricut and um, once you get it over here again you can right click on the file name and to each its own then you'll see each color is on its own layer and you can cut to the layers. Now if I would like to um, cut this on my InView software to get it in there, all I do is go to File, Import. You do this in any software where you would like to import or use for cutting to your specific machine. Import SVG. I'll select the SVG file and bring it in. Now I need to ungroup this and just right click to change from uh, to give my pen color the same as the fill color. So now when I click on this, you see over here that I've got the fill color is the same as the pen color. So that's the only thing I need to do to make it ready to cut in this software. When I go to now to my cutting window, you see I can select the color layer that I would like to color cut in this pass. So this is cutting by, by color. I can also import that SVG to any of my other software for cutting. I want to make sure that I check in my original software and make the cut the size of this image. And I see that the size is 5.0. 0269 high. So if I if I import to other software I can check to make sure that it is the proper height. But that's all there is to making this cute little design in um, the software of your choice and to have it in the pieces that you need. So I hope this has helped. Have a great day. Bye.